Hi there, Z here, and I am done, guys. I am I am just done with this whole thing. Um, I was working on my new video here, um, my higher quality one, and uh, I decided to take a little break uh, because I was editing for like three or four hours straight, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna play play me a little bit of uh, Enter the Gungeon, right? Unwind a little bit, come back to this, have a wank or something like that, come back to it later. And then I'll finish it. And I'll still, I'll still be finishing that by the end of the night here. But um, while I was kind of looking through all, my, all the YouTubers that I listened to, a couple of them are talking about Outer Worlds and it being bought exclusively to Epic Games. The one fucking game that I really, really wanted, Epic. Not, that's that's also not true. It's um, it's also being sold to, to Microsoft because it's made by Obsidian. Obsidian was bought out by Microsoft. It so so it it's it's not completely d dead in the water. But at the same time, I, I I don't like Microsoft's launcher either. I I don't like Epic launcher. I don't like Microsoft. I think they're both badly put together. It might be because I I've, I've been with Steam for so long, but it, everything just seems clunky. I don't like it. It, it, it. There's multiple different reasons why I don't like it, which I'll probably get to in in this but if i had to still buy the game you could bet your fucking ass i am not going to buy it from epic epic games i'm not i would rather i would rather wait five years to play this game for the chance for the before buying it through epic at all and i i i'm 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 very subdued right now because honestly i'm just broken because what, what am i gonna do i'm gonna make a video I'm going to chant, and I'm going to scream, and I'm going to be like, Ah, I hate you so much. I hope you die with a bag of dicks in your mouth, epic launcher. And and to a lesser extent, probably an equal extent, actually, the developers, because the developers are doing this. And the, the thing that really pisses me off, and again, I'm, I'm going to try not to raise my voice. I'm going to try to be very calm about this, because no matter how bad I yell, it's not going to change anything. <laughs> there will always be gamers who will still buy the game doesn't matter what I say. And now that being said, there, there's a lot of gamers who won't. So what are the metrics? N who knows? I mean, Epic's really not super open like Steam is. It's, it's not like, hey, this is how many players bought it. Hey, this is how many players are playing it right now. And eh, go ahead and just do whatever you want. We don't really care. Epic is, is kind of a scummy, has some scummy practices to it. But I'm getting f way far off the track here. I would rather give money to anybody else but epic right now because of this one thing and i think the main reason why i'm taking this so personally i guess is because it, it it's it's mixing a lot of my my personal you know beliefs i, I capitalism great it, 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 it two competitions mashing each other with uh trying to come up with like the best of the best and that person you know go goes to do other things and uh, really, really scummy business practices. Absolutely. Are they legal? Yes. Are they still scummy? Absolutely, they are. And it's and it and it really bothers me. If Epic came out and everyone's like, "Oh, it's so great. It, it's so easy to do. The return policy is better. They have cheaper games. Everything about it." I had an issue, and I talked to customer service. Oh, they they helped me throughout the entire thing. They're very transparent. It would be like, okay, so maybe I need to try it out. Maybe I need to look into this, and maybe I might be one over two, but they're not doing that. They're not. What they're doing now is they're taking this thing and saying, no, no, this is my game now. You can't have it for a year. If you want it, you have to come to me first. And people are like, it, they, it, they was already said that those guys were going to have it, though. No, no, I'm not. No, it's mine now. I paid that guy two nickels. It's mine now. It's like... What the fuck am I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to kind of go through any other means because I don't like Epic. I don't like their company. I don't like their fucking Fortnite game. There's nothing I like about you, Epic. Die in a hole. Okay, I was. I had to have a little bit of that, a little bit of that pent up aggression. Because honestly, I was. I was. This is like my second time recording this because the first time I fucking forgot that I had this button muted. So, you know, it's one of those type of things where I, I got like five minutes in. I'm like, maybe I should check on this. Nope, never mind. Anywho, um, and every fucking developer out there, when they do this, they always, the, 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 the backlash is always going to be there. They know it's going to be there. Now, whether they agreed 
in advance and now it's coming to fruition and they're like ah oh, shit this is going to be a bad day because these people are going to be pissed but their thing is always the the their the, the response is always the same it's like they're buying it off of a fucking <laughs> off of a snake oil salesman show this to people they'll definitely understand but it's 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 one of those type of things where they say Oh, it's such a such a hard decision. It was such a hard decision, guys. We understand and we respect the fact that you don't like this. But with all the money that we're getting from this, not only from the sales and the higher percentages that we get on this, and oh, that big fucking, uh, 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 what is that? Oh, uh, Scrooge McDuck money bags that we're getting. We got three Scrooge McDuck money bags. That's roughly $2.4 billion just to have this game. It's going to make us be able to keep uh, keep in, 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 in business and put more games out to you fine people, our loyal, loyal fans. It's like, oh, my God, are you running for a fucking Senate or something? Oh, my God, I have never heard so much pandering bullshit in my entire life. And they do it every time. Every company has done this. It's a tough thing, but we'll be able to do this uh, in the future. How did game developers do it in the past? Hmm? Hmm? It, 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 show of hands? Because I have, a, I have a conspiracy theory. Put on your tinfoil hats, boys and girls, because I think they were hooking out their entire employee army, okay? Every single person. Oh, we're not making our quotas. We need more money to finish this game. Go give Tom a hand job in the bathroom, and we'll be able to finally do this thing. I don't think that's it, though. I'm a little bit touched in the head. But, um... I know that's not it. They made games. The game sold really well. It made more people want to buy the games years down the road. Years down the road, they wanted to buy more games. They really did. It, it was like back in the day, StarCraft came out. Okay, it was, you know, it. it I think it got like eight and seven eight it wasn't like 10 out of 10 but that's seven or eight that people were giving it and telling their friends no this is a pretty fun game you should buy it like years later they were still selling it two three years later they were still selling it so in that two to three years they also put out another two games and if those games were good hey that was even more money and it kept stacking up and going and going and going now you're taking away everything why should you make a good game anymore you got money you got a ton of money. You could put out eight stinkers before you go bankrupt. So why do that? Well, why would we even fucking care at this point? We're getting money. I mean, does it really matter what we sell? Sure, we're probably going to be known as the next EA. Who fucking cares? We're getting money. We're getting the dollars. We'll be able to employ people, more people, just so we could put out more shitty games because we didn't fucking earn these sales through merit. We earned them because uh, this guy gave us a Ton of money, so much money, and I just—I'm just done. I'm done, guys. I can sit here and, like I mentioned before, I can—or maybe I was in the bad version that I got. But I could sit here and scream and just work up, work, you know, hit my little symbols like a trained monkey for the viewers out there because everyone loves somebody freaking the fuck out for no real reason. Okay, I understand that, and I could do that. This one, I wanted to tell you in calm terms, this is going to be the future. Steam's going to have to step up somehow. Steam's going to have to be the one that says, well, they left us with no choice. Now we have to start buying exclusive deals. That's just the only way we're going to be able to do things. See, this is what was nice about PC. Is PC, it came out, it came out for fucking everything. I mean... Unless it was like one developer who did it, and then you'd have to uh, you'd have to install some shitty fucking uh, game launcher. But it doesn't didn't really matter at that point. I might have used Epic, you know. I I might have if they did better, if they if they evolved and they they, they got better than Steam. I might have I might have used them. I fucking use Origin and 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 fucking Windows and these disgusting badly put together. Bethesda's okay. That that one's okay. Um, no, not Bethesda. Wow. Oh. Backtrack. Rewind that. Forget I even said that. The Bethesda one sucks dick. The Blizzard one is not bad. Blizzard's okay. I mean, it was. It, it, it's easy to use. Feels good. Whatever. But the thing that, that that's that's just enraging is that they're not buying me over as a customer. They're buying the game that I fucking want. They're not treating me as a customer saying, we want you to come over here. We are going to try our best to do the best that we fucking can. They're saying, you want that? You come over here. You get it from us. I don't care if you want it for anyone else. You know, I, don't give a I don't give a shit about you. 
Oh, your opinions? Oh, I'm an entitled gamer. I want that game over here. Fuck you. Come over here and get it, you fucking pig. That's exactly what they're what I'm feeling like. And that is just terrible. Legal, but terrible. I don't like you, Epic Games. I hope you die in a hole, okay? I'm not saying the developers or the CEOs, even though, you know, if someone keyed their car, that would be a... They could probably pay for the, uh, the, the repair on that. But no, I... I want your company to catch on fire. I want your servers to blow up. Again, not, this is sounding like I am like, I'm like slightly nodding to people to do anything. Don't do anything illegal, guys. For anyone who might watch this video, don't do anything. I want lightning to strike your fucking building. Every building that you own, catch everything on fire. That's what I want. And if that happens, then I guess God hates your company as much as I do. But that's it, guys. I'm done. I won't be talking about. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny that I might be talking about this in the future too. But I'm gonna focus more on, on the shit right here, and I'm I'm just tired of this whole epic thing. It's gonna happen. They bought like 25 other exclusive games, games I've never heard of, games I don't care about. It's going to happen. I'm I'm just as as upset about it as I'm guessing a good portion of you. So see you guys in a year. See you guys in a year. See that game in a year if I don't buy it for uh, Windows, and I hope you guys have a stellar day, even though this was more depressing than I was expecting it to be. So, cheers.